je, je voudrais remercier les, les organisateurs de cette conférence de, euh, de m'avoir invité à parler. C'est un, un immense plaisir de parler euh, en l'honneur de Luc et Luzi, euh, qui a été toujours pour moi une figure euh, une grand paternelle, euh, bienveillant et un peu intimidant. Euh, uh, so, uh, let me switch to English. I, I, it happened that I didn't have um, a recent result that may seem to be of interest to Luke. So I decided to talk about some kind of personal work that I, I, I did for myself, which can be seen as some kind of exercise in um, uh, illusive class in algebra geometries in Oxy long ago. But I hope it's some kind of pretty exercise. It can be. Uh, pretty. So um, I want to talk about uh, jet bundles and different, uh, I want to present, uh, you can have new presentation of elementary diffusion calculus using jet bundles. So my, uh, my, somehow my motivation was, was, was two forms. One is, um, one is, uh, one is the, um, when I study arc space, arc spaces of algebraic varieties, Uh, when you're doing calculation, um, uh, some uh, mentally have to choose coordinates so that you can trivialize. You have to trivialize the, the arc bundles. You look at arc space as bundles over, algebra, uh, the, over the base varieties, and you really want to trivialize the, the bundles, you know, to make calculations. So I want to understand what is the structures to, what is the, the, um, the intrinsic, intrinsic way Uh, structures that uh, allow us to do the trivializations, uh, uh, to, uh, to do the trivializations of the arc bundles. So the second motivation is, is completely different. It's come from uh, my, uh, uh, my ongoing work on Hitchin vibration of, uh, of, um, on, uh, for higher dimension varieties. And uh, in this work, it, um, I happen to um, encounters with the work of Bogomolov, who talk about the, some kind of closed metric uh, differential forms. So I, I, I had a hard time to understand what he really means by closed symmetric differential forms. So I try to define some kind of what is the differential of the symmetric differential forms. So I, at least I can give you uh, what seems to be the canonical way to define the, the, the differential of symmetric forms. So this is the motivation, but let's start with something very, really, very basic uh, definition. So um, uh, I work with um, K is a, a field of, of characteristic zero. Um, But some some place can be over, over any characteristic, but I, I, I don't want to be bothered by this problem now. And I start to uh, I look at the, um, the category of Actinian K is the category of all uh, local Actinian K algebra, uh, whose residue fins is K. So we have K go to R and mod by maximum ideas go to K again. Um, so now when X is um, a larger break variety of a K, uh, then you can, uh, there is one definition of R space, uh, of, of, just, of just scheme. Uh, and for every R, the general just scheme, R is uh, any object of this Artinian K. Uh, then you can define the, um, JRX, which is the functors on the K algebra. Uh, for every K algebra A, I just uh, is decided it is the X of A tensor KR. So this kind of, for this kind of very restriction of X from, from R to K. Uh, but because I have this, uh, this map from R to K, uh, this J are actually fibers over X. So this is, is really a bundle over X because I have the map from X to XA. Uh, by mapping R to K. So JR X over X is 
for like going uh, 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 jet number, our jet number. So the very, you know, very familiar case when you take R, R1 is the ring of dual, uh, dual numbers, then, um, then uh, JR1 of X is of course the chosen tangent bundle of X over X. And um, but in general, um, um, so when X is smooth, then JRX over X is smooth and some kind of five bundles, but which is not a, not a vector bundle. There's no way to add two different objects unless you are in the case of R1. But nevertheless, uh, uh, I mean, there's very, it's kind of familiar calculation in deformation theory. When you have um, R in, um, you have, when you have R in an octillion algebra, and uh, we have ideal, one dimension ideal. So this is one dimension, I just choose a basis to identi identify this ideal with K. Then you have uh, this functor of JR is, is functorial both on X and on R. So you have this map from, you have this band J, JRX into JR prime X. Right? So when X is smooth, this is subjective, it's smooth. And, uh, um, and it, it very, you know, it's usual calculation deformation theory uh, tell you that this is, um, this is actually a torsus. Under the tangent bundle, so that means you have when you have two when you have two point of of JR two R jet that sit over the same R prime jet, then the difference of them is a, a, a vector is is, a, is tangent vector. So this is the usual uh, calculation of deformation theory uh, that you probably all know. Um, so this is the first fact uh, that you go to use. But I, then also I, I want to, any questions? Okay. Um, I also want to really to explore the structures of this category of Kenya algebra. So um, uh, when you have um, R1 and R2, uh, two, um, two Arctinian algebra, then I can define that there's some the sum of a k, so to speak. So this this is just the uh, the ring of x one, x two, the subring of r one times r two, consisting of elements that map into the same element in k, because you see the one is a common local algebra. So that's x one mod m one, the maximum identity of, of r one is the same as x two mod m two in k. Uh, so this is it's not hard to see. This is kind of the, the sum in in the uh, uh, the sum in the category of of of, of um, a finite local um, local scheme. So uh, you have what you when you compute J of R one plus R two of X. This is just the fiber product of J, J R one X and J R two x uh, over um, over x so for instance if you take the um, r, if r1 is and r2 is a it is a dual numbers then r1 uh, the sum that i want to call a q2 is the k of t1 t2 divided by the maximum ideals the square, the maximum ideal, T1, T2, T2 square. And in this case, uh, the J of Q2X is a tangent bundle, uh, a product of tangent bundle with itself over X. So this is the first structures. The second structure is somehow more interesting. When you look at uh, R1, tensor K is R2. 
And then you can, it, 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 you can see, uh, easy see that the J of R1, tensor K of R2, is J, J R1 to the jet scheme of the jet scheme. And so we have two different isomorphisms. This one is J R2 of J R1 of X. So we start being a bit more interesting. Uh, so when you, so the, somehow I find the most interesting object in this story is this, is this ring of Rn, which is R1, uh, tensor is of n, n time. So what you get is K of T1, T2, Tn, divided not by the, the square of the maximum ideons, but only by T1 square, or T2 square, Tn square. So this is a ring of uh, dimension two to the n. And uh, uh, and then you, when you look at this j of r n of x, uh, then it is the tangent of a tangent of tangent of x. So the tangent uh, n time. And another thing that you can observe is on the ring of r n, you have the obvious action of the of the symmetric groups by uh, by changing the coordinate and uh, by functorialities, this in, in, induce a notion of Sn on the JRN of X. And so this is the fact that this JRN of X can be identified, um, let's call this T to the N of X, is a tangent of tangent N time. Then there's, uh, can be identified with tangent in N factorial one. So there's N factorial possible identification. For example, the, 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 uh, in other words, in the, the, the tangents, tangent square of X have a natural action of S2 on it. So this is the observator that, that, that is uh, really uh, to use on the long of this talk. But now let me look at the uh, action of the, just some kind of uh, very elementary uh, algebra. I look at the action of Sn over Rn. And I claim that the um, if I if I uh, did know S n is this actinian ring K u mod u to the n plus one, so this is the ring that is that is the Euclidean jet scheme so to speak. So we have the that is the Euclidean jet scheme. Uh, so J of n x is the the Euclidean jet scheme is J S n of x uh, and um, the kind of the fact is that Sn is isomorphic with uh, the fixed point of Sn on Rn. But here I really have to use the characteristic of K is zero. So this kind of curious fact is given by just map U into T1 plus Tn. Of course, because you want something that is invariant. And if you do the formula, then you what if the uh, UN we're going to map to N factorial of T1, Tn. So we better to have the characteristic K to not zero, uh, to be zero to not to be have quite with the N factorials. So in, in, in general, if without this condition, then you can identify the Rn as N characteristic P with the calculated divided power. So we can develop the characteristic P by replacing the usual jet scheme by the, the jet scheme with the, with the truncated divided power, but I'm not going to do this. I just uh, stick myself to characteristics uh, zero case. And so by functorialities of the jet scheme, you can identify JN, just as the JSN of X. So the usual jet scheme with the fixed point of, of JRN of X, SN. So the even jet scheme that is the uh, um, on the map from this uh, uh, KU divided by UN plus spectrum of this SN into X uh, can be identified with SN uh, fixed point in the multiple, you know, N multiple tangent space. So this is the one the first observation. So I will use it to uh, do some uh, to um, 
to do the the construct for the formal flow. This is going to, to help her to give some kind of nice algebraic construction of the formal flow. So in, in the elementary differential geometry, when you have a, a vector fins, then the, the Picard theory that allow you to associate with some uh, some flows uh, whose uh, tangent vectors is your given vector fins. But now I want to do it on, on the for algebraic varieties, and you cannot have uh, what you can have is a, the formal flows. Okay, so let, let's try to work out the formal flow. Um, so uh, it, it is actually quite uh, so. Uh, uh, we have the uh, Jn of x is equal to an arc space, uh, which is the J of Sn of x. And as Sn can put into um, uh, the, the, when you take the limit of Sn, then you get the, 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 the ring of uniform series. So um, as a reason, you have the limit of, of Jn x is the J infinite of X. So the X point with values in the, the space is with X points value in the formal series. And this is the unit arc space. All right, so what I want to, to construct a canonical map from uh, gamma on the section of the tangent bandons to the section of the, of the arc bandons. I claim that there is such a map. So the map is this. So when you have um, uh, when you have a, a map from x to the tangent of x, so this is called the vector fin v. Then by functoriality of the tangent bundle, you can go again of t of v to t square of x, and so on, on the way to t n of x. And this is t um, t n minus one of v, and I call v to the n. It's kind of differentiation n time by the same vector fins. It's the t n minus one the composition of all this. So we, when you look at differential operators, you really they're just the composition uh, n times the same vector fins, and and this v of v of n is a section of x into into j of r n of x which is the tangent and extent time. And moreover, this thing is, is symmetrical. It is some kind of direct calculation that can VN is, um, is fixed under the action of SN. So VN is actually a, a, a section of the, of the, of the usual jet scheme. And then they are compatible and then this gives rise to V infinities um, a section of the of your arc scheme. So, so this means that every time you have a vector fins, you can glue them together to get to have really um, an arc at every point of x. So this is the the first uh, you know the first use of this uh, formalism adjust scheme to uh, to reinterpret uh, things. Um, so the next thing I want to, to talk about is um, a phi connection. A phi connection this can be also be interpreted very nicely in, in, this, in this language of, of jet bundles. Uh, I just need actually here, I, I, I will need R2, which is so the tensor twice of the dual numbers. So I have k of t1, t2 divided by t1 square, t2 square. Uh, I also have this q2. So the r2 is the r1 tensor with itself. Again, you don't. I also have. Is it okay? 
Yes, yes. And I have a Q2, which is the sum of R1 plus itself. And now I have K of T1, T2 divided by the maximum ideal. So this is quotient of this, so by T1 squared, T2 squared, T1, T2. So as a result, I have this kind of diagram. Uh, so uh, this is J of um, R2 of X. And uh, it mapped to J of Q2 of X, which is nothing but the tangent bundle on time itself. We have two map into the tangent bundles and think map into X. So we have two different uh, map, uh, P1 and P2. And this is PR1, this is PR2. And they have involution. It has the, there's kind of the obvious involution acting on, on both Q2 and R2. So this, let's call this uh, tau of Q and this tau of R. Um, so let's remember, uh, uh, as I already mentioned, the JR2 of X is not a vector bundle of X. However, it is, is the attention, is a tension bundle of a tension bundle. So both P1 and P2 are vector bundle. So you can add fibers. And also the uh, the map from uh, JR2X to J of Q2X. So this this is this critical map. Uh, this is this one. Um, so let me change the color. This one. Uh, this one is not a vector bundle, but it is a a, a, a toxo. So this is a, a is a. is a, a tangent process. So here really you have to use axis smooth, otherwise the, the fiber can be can be empty, right? So uh, here's here it, it is it, the fiber is not empty if if X is smooth. Uh, so uh, so so this is kind of the the structure. It's kind of starting on the on the on the number two. So you have kind of complicated structures. So we tangent space, uh, self product with self, and then we have a, a tangent bundle um, toxer over it, right? And if you look at everything carefully, what you get here is actually this um, this give rise to a a, a by extension. of Tx times x by Tx. This is exactly the by extension on the on the axiom that you need to uh, uh, to require here is just axiom the by extension. All right. And also you can also remark that the um, the bracket the vector fin can be very nicely interpreted in this diagram. For instance if you have like, let me change the color, otherwise it becomes too, uh, too complicated diagram. So if you have two vector fins, say you have V1 here, and let me draw V2 on this side, then by functorality you have a tangent of V1, T, V2 on this side, and tangent of V1 on this side. So when you go on one way and go to the other, and somehow, you have to switch by the evolution to make sure that you map to the same point, then you may map to the same point over the, over the, the, the tangent, time tangent over itself. So as a result, the difference is now, uh, of, of, um, of, um, is now a, uh, a vector field. So let me write the other, uh, the, you know, the reinterpretation of the of the um, of the bracket the vector fins is this. So this is the, the tau uh, the TV two TV V one is V one bracket V two. 
So, so this kind of nice because you can define directly by geometrically the bracket without using the, the how it acts on functions. So this is the kind of first remark. The, 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 I think the secret the, the remark is a bit more important is the, if you look at how Ereshman defined uh, connections, you see that the, the five connections. So connection this vector bundle, you know, tangent bundles is exactly the same as the trivialization. of the both of the by extension. So that means you have you have to give yourself a section uh, a section of this map that respect all the structures that you can, can require. It's going to be additive when you're over one TX, additive with the other TX also. And when you check the formula that really give you uh, the when you have this and look at this kind of uh, 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 small game with composing vector field, uh, then you get how you can have a way to derive one vector field respect to, to the other. Um, because you have this kind of section to do it. Uh, it's really, this is really just exactly the same how to arrest man defy, defy um, connection, but you just be careful, you want to be additive, uh, on both variables, and that means you require that this, this is trivialized to be by extension. And the other remark, which is uh, I find really nice, but in, in different geometry, there's, there's this concept that I um, I had I had hard time to understand, which is the toxin free. Toxin free of phi connection. So there is some when you in the theorem, the Levi Civita theorem, this require the, the affine connection to be uh, to be compatible with the Riemann form and also be toxin free. And in this language, toxin free just means it is symmetric. And that means the, the, the section has to be compatible with each other involutions. So um, so that be that is the same as symmetric. Trivialization. Of the by extension. And for this, uh, you can see that you know now if, if you want to actually to be, to be smooth, if you want to have the type trivialization because this one this map to be um, to be subjective, uh, and. and and you also see that uh, um, there are plenty of them on axis of phi. So uh, there exists a, 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 a phi symmetric of phi connection. The phi connection when x is smooth and the phi, because the, uh, the obstruction obviously leaves in some H1 of X, uh, some in some coil and shift, so it doesn't have H1. All right, so uh, and the next the, uh, the next thing I want to say that is this the, uh, we have now the the construction of the what the you call the geodesic in the in different geometries in this algebra context. And that means if you have, if you give yourself a symmetric affine connection. So in different geometry, you, you start having a, a metric and then the, there is no sort of geodesic that kind of minimize distance, but, he, but the, you can formulate in, in pure lang algebraic language by saying that if you have a symmetric affine connection, then that gives rise a canonical map from the tangent bundles into the jet bundle. So not just the space of section, but really a, a, a morphism from the tangent bundle to the infinite section. So how you can do this? You, uh, so the, the affine connection, there's the symmetric affine connection 
So what it does is to uh, to allow you to write the, the, the t square of x into tx times x times tx times tx three times. So instead of having a tx torsor over tx times tx, the symmetric of our connection allow you to, to trivialize this t square of x. But the, the thing that you, you, have, you have to remember that these three copies of tx do not play the same roles. You should have the, the this is the, um, the first one are the map to T of X and the third coordinate is the trivialization of the, of the torsions. And of course you can, when you have this, you can just keep, keep repeating T square of X and just develop it. And because you, you have this, the first formula, you can just develop it completely into the many copy of T of X. And if you do so, what you get is T and X it's just a product of many copy of tx over x, but now the you had to the the the, the point you had to figure out is this is indexed by the the subset. So i is a sub subset of one to n, so non-empty subset. And obviously you have the action of um, action of symmetric group on this side, and on this side just acting by permuting your subset of one to n. Obviously, so now when you have this kind of completely, you can split this T n of x. You can have a map from uh, from T x uh, to T r uh, uh, to to T, uh, Tn of x, but decide that when you have a, 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 vec a tangent vector, you just map it to V and copies for the i of uh, cardinal one and just put zero everywhere else for i for the, for the subset of, uh, of cardinal at least two. So that is how you have uh, this kind of geodesic. And uh, so, that, so that, that gives you a map from, from T of X, which is obviously uh, symmetric. So it's, it's uh, fixed under, under SN. And so this gives you a map from TX to TSN of X and to the limit by going to the limit, to the limit. You have your map from your tangent bundle into the R space, so J infinity of X. So basically, that gives you a, a what every vector, not 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 a vector field, just a tangent vector. Then you can you can have a, a an arc, a formal arc. That is the geodesic formal arc. All right, so this is the uh, how we can interpret the, the geodesic in, um, you know, the, the, the formal flows. You can interpret the phi connection and you can interpret the uh, geodesic in this term of jet bundles. So now I want to, uh, you know, to do some, to go, to approach this, que this question, what, what do you mean by, um, differential of the of a symmetric form, which is not clear at all. I mean, when you look at Bogolom papers, he has some kind of definition of um, a close symmetric differential form, but, they, but I just cannot get why he called it close. So I try to at least try to define what is a differential of symmetric forms. And okay, so um, we can uh, have you can, you can see that omega one, so the usual for, uh, sheet of one form, it can be seen as algebraic function from, from the tangent bundle to A1, which is GM equivalent. The GM, GM up on the fiber of a tangent and up on by scalar one. And so you want to, uh, what I try to go, I don't know if, anybody have studied this kind of strange things, but I got cubic of cubic on differential forms. So it's on omega r n of x. 
is going to be function on the z bundle rn of x into a1, which is gm to the n equivalent. So we see rn is, uh, is this, this, this ring, uh, two to the n dimensional ring. And you have obvious action of gm to the n by uh, scaling individually the coordinate t1, t2, tn. And you also have the action of gm to the n on the one by the set of product. Right. This is uh, uh, this makes sense because when you uh, when you differentiate uh, when you have uh, when you have f a function from t n to the x uh, to a one which belong to omega r n of x omega r n x then d f which is a tangent of uh, a tangent of ten n x to a one we belong to the omega r n plus one. So this uh, equivalent condition is uh, simply with the y one to to have uh, to to do the differentiation. So but the again so the the odd kind of the difficulty, but actually the kind of pleasant things is you, you just have many way to identify uh, j r n with with the, with the t n of x. So you have the uh, had some kind of simplicity structures. You have the different map from one. You have uh, you just have many uh, map from. Um, okay, let me. Uh, you have um, look at the the map from one to. So strictly. increasing map and so you call this thing uh, maybe delta i the one that missed that missed the the i in 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 this larger set so for every i you have a, a, a you have a map from uh, you have a, a map from the i the R and I from omega uh, R and X differentiation into omega R n plus one of X. And obviously you can form the, uh, the, the uh, unify D of R n is going to be uh, D uh, R n zero minus D one R n plus et cetera. And for, in that way, you just have a, a now complex cubic code forms uh, from O x O to omega uh, R one of x. This is just omega using omega one, but then have omega L two x, etc. Which look a little bit like the RAM complex, but which is way larger. Uh, and open uh, and uh, have questions. It would be, uh, it, uh, it would be better to write uh, zero and minus one to uh, zero uh, n, and then uh, use the usual convention and simplicial objects, uh, because you yeah, maybe, yeah. d zero minus d one and uh, d zero misses uh, zero, right? But zero is not there. So. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Probably can make it change size some point, but uh, yeah. So um the. Well, what it's very nice is this uh, again you have action of symmetric group so s2 action omega r2 and s n action r omega r n and this is a very complicated but it's in the coherent shift so omega r n of x a coherent shift over x which is gigantic the point that is kind of and whether it's kind of gigantic so you can use the you know, if you uh, now locally. So locally, for example, the topology of X, where you have this affi connection, symmetric affi connection, so that you can trivialize your um, on your jet bundles, then uh, then you can 
do some kind of you know calculation um, uh, some it is, it, you can do calculation on, to try to write out what exactly this omega r and x is which is a bit complicated but it's not really not difficult then what you get is this so just, just write the result i don't want to bother you with the calculation so we have a, a direct sum over over on part or the way that you can partition so i you can uh i1 i2 i m is a partition of the set one two n and then for each partition you have this sigma of uh, of i is kind of the the subgroup of sn which is normalized normalize the partitions that means you can you know you can allow uh, your permutation to permute also the partition uh, so and then with this uh, you can have this induced uh, from s uh, n to s i into s n of omega one of x uh, to the m so it's not very sympathetic because you know just I have only a number of partition in this, so it's, it's a bit too big uh, to be interesting somehow. But at least what is really nice is this. Uh, uh, so because you have the action of symmetric group after all this uh, omega of R n of x, if you look at the the uh, the sign, the part when symmetric group up by the sign. So uh, look at the direct factor of R and X. Let me call it minus, where S and up by the sign representation. Then by this formula, just by this formula, you can you can prove that you can prove that this is the usual uh, differential forms. So the you know the point is that when you look at this formula, the uh, it's very complicated. But the on on the factors here is, can have a lot of symmetric forms and very few alternating forms. So uh, there's only one alternative form, just one of the factors, which is omega n of x. This is a very it's kind of elementary exercise with the representation of symmetric groups, and so. Uh, from this, uh, you can see that the um, uh, the usual, um, uh, and also you can you can, you can see that the, the your d from omega r n of x to omega r m plus one actually map the the minus part to the minus part, and so the the, the ram complex, the usual the ram complex, is a direct factors. Of this, of this uh, gigantic, of this cubicle complex. So I really don't know what this cubicle complex is, but the, the at least the one part it has the, the it contains the, the RAM complex, and at the other side it has plenty of symmetric form. So it seemed to start to give me an answer of at least some kind of approach the question how to define a differential of of symmetric forms. So let um, so now let's try to figure out what is the symmetric part so of omega r n plus of x. So where s n are trivially. So first of all, just by the same decomposition, you can see that the semen of, of omega one of x, there's kind of equal map is direct factor of this. So, so definitely, then you can really define what is the difference of, of symmetric form. So then you change the definition because this C man is a direct factor of so this. But this, this one is, is a sub of this, it's a sub from sub bundle. But this is just way bigger. So in, in for n equal to two, it, you can compute it. And then the, in, when n equal to two, what you get is a, uh, is a 
sim2, the exact sequence of sim2 of omega one of x, map to omega r two plus of x, and map to omega one of x. So the um, uh, the your the symmetric part of the cubical complex is an extension of omega one by the sim2 omega one. And this looks familiar because this is the same form as the as the Gotenic P2. So P2 is the uh, 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 two principal part, the shield of principal part. Gotenic defines this because principal part. And you can prove in this in this case that this is the same. So it would be really nice if this story continues, but uh, for n equal to three, then uh, this, uh, the, this omega R3 just way bigger. It's a little bigger. It's contained the, the P3, but there's another factor. So I don't really understand what it is. And of course, an N grows. Um, this is just uh, uh, really big. And I, I have no clue of what it is. Uh, so at least, at least uh, from this analysis, you can define a differential of canonical differential of the, of a symmetric differential forms. But with the image, it is some is something rather gigantic. So I guess it had to to project into fact, some factors, and every the projection is zero, that may correspond to the to the kind of mysterious definition of Bogomolov of closed symmetric differential form that I I couldn't figure it out yet. So I think that is everything I have to say about this. Uh, I'm I'm very I'm sorry for this very elementary story, but I think I, I probably that the what I can. And you can find that something that may be of interest to look. So that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, any questions? I have a comment. Okay. So I remember that uh, uh, Brin and Nissing a few years ago came with some, also another approach for differential calculus, but I don't remember exactly. My souvenir is it's, it's a little bit close. Have you looked at this, at their work? Yes, but it's different. I think it's a copy it's different. different. Yeah. I have a question. So, mm -hmm. uh, what can we say about the cohomology of the sample? Some issue complex, or do you have some explicit example? No, I don't. I think it's interesting in vain to calculate, but I don't know how to compute it. Yeah. Uh, does the uh, hot theory tell you something? Whether or not those, uh, I mean, this notion of closeness you define is uh, automatically fulfilled if X is most projective? I mean, the, I quite hope to to connect this to hot theory, but I, I know I'm not there yet. I, I just uh, it's the, the beginning of this topic. I, I don't have the uh, answer to that. Uh, okay. Uh, so what kind of nice? At least the, I mean, what I can tell is if you, it's just kind of similar calculation. If you look at the uh, the uh, the differential of the of the two symmetric forms and it just by formula it's the same as the Kossun sum that you have in the U to define the, you know, the FICA method associated to a, a Riemannian forms. So, so this aside that is, it, the, the, this construction is maybe not meaningless but I, that, uh, I really don't know. So what is exactly the relation with the Connection in Riemannian geometry. Well, this is what you meant. You meant to. So, so you know, you went in the proof of the. I I, I haven't. Uh, I mean, there is a connection, but I, I I'm I apologize. I haven't finished that exercise yet. But at least in the 
in the proof of the levi civita theorem, and you start with the uh, with the um, uh, symmetric forms, uh, uh, second symmetric form, uh, then you know when the proof will make make some kind of alternating sum uh, of derivations. Uh, and from that you can you that you can that is uh, then you can derive the kind of phi connection, and this kind of alternating sum the cosine sum exactly the, uh, the the derivation that I that I, I, I use here. So what they call the Christoffel symbol in classical. Yeah. Okay. And this is your uh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, just. Uh... A remark about the, the last part, uh, n equals two, uh, reminds me of a, an unpublished uh, note of Grotendieck who uh, classified uh, uh, order two uh, thicknings of, uh, of some of X uh, in terms of such uh, extensions. Uh, I think I, I sent you the, his note, uh, maybe. Uh, well, thank and, you, thank uh, you, I appreciate it. Yes. And, uh, uh, it's possible. Uh, do, do you think it would be possible to go further to classify uh, thickenings of order three, uh, etc., uh, using your uh, using this formalism? Yeah, maybe, but the, the, the guy I get stuck at order three because you know it it contains the P three, but it contains some 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 other things. I just do not yes. do that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but the, the classification maybe P three is not enough. You know, so, uh, so maybe this would be a, this would give the right uh, formalism. I don't know. What do you think? And also, is, is there a relation with some, with some bar construction someplace? Uh, it seems like uh, you know, the, the big tensor products, and then uh, inside you find all these uh, symmetric exterior, etc. So I have no idea. So the simplicial construction is a but I'm afraid we, we lost uh, no? I'm here, but I just do not do not have cannot answer to your question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I am just um, well, uh, uh, Okay, there is a question um, from the audience. It, say, uh, it is, uh, is the, uh, the exact sequence for symmetric th uh, th uh, three, uh, power three symmetric um, exact sequence, can it be written down? I, I wrote it down, but I, I, so I don't remember it, but I don't remember it, but I can, I can tell you what it is. So that is a, a question from the audience. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, if there is no further question, let's thank Professor Gore for his talk. <laughs>